I know that an automaker or dealer would strongly deny that it wants to squeeze every last penny out of you that it can, but sometimes actions speak louder than words. Like in a previous Autoline garage, I told you about spare tires disappearing. Well, did you know that on some of these thirty to forty thousand dollar vehicles, the transmission dipstick is disappearing as well? No, really, I'm serious. The first time I ran into this was when a customer brought in his two thousand and six. Chrysler 300 for a simple transmission flush. The 3.5 liter V6 engine had a dipstick tube with a cap in it, but strangely no dipstick. Thankfully, we caught this before the transmission fluid was emptied, since there would have been no other way to measure the level. So we just used an extra long trans dipstick from a Chevy truck, marked the full level, performed the trans flush, then refilled the system back to the marked full level. Now, along with the Chrysler 300, the previous Gen Ford Explorer has a system like it, although slightly different. It has a two-piece plug that screws into the bottom of the transmission pan, and it's a hollow screw. So to check the level, you first need to get the fluid to the proper temperature, then remove the center screw with the engine still running, and if you have a steady flow of fluid, the trans is full. But if not, you need a special fill adapter to shove in more fluid. Then after a steady stream, you put the center screw back in and run the trans through all the gears. Then go back and remove the center screw to see if you still have a steady flow. But it's likely you will not, and we'll have to repeat the steps a few more times. Uh, I think Ford may have realized this was not a good way of doing it, and on the new Gen Explorer, the trans level can be checked from underneath the hood. Now this new 300 with the 8-speed transmission doesn't even have a dipstick or tube. Its level has to be checked from underneath the car through a fill plug on the side of the transmission. But Chrysler does say that it's a fill for life system and under normal use, no maintenance is required. However, Chrysler does list a service interval of 120,000 miles, so take that for what you will. And the more I've looked into this problem, it seems that this is becoming the norm for a lot of manufacturers. This can be very frustrating because there really should be an easy way to check fluid levels, especially on something as important and as expensive as a transmission. And after we called the dealer about the trans dipstick on the 2006 300, they don't even have a parts listing for one and said we would have to go to them to have the level checked. On the bright side, while more and more automakers are abandoning the ever useful and uniquely simple dipstick, some at least have provided an accessible alternative because it's not just the transmission dipstick disappearing. We had a customer come in with his 2011 Audi A4 Quattro with a two liter turbo engine. And after a massive search and rescue mission, I was unable to locate the dipstick. All I could find was the tube for it. However, on this Audi, it has a function that one can access through the infotainment system that will display the oil level using an electronic sensor mounted in the oil pan. But it does take a few minutes to navigate through the system, and it's slow to react when filling the oil and checking the level at the same time. You know, you can call me old fashioned, but I will always trust a dipstick over an electronic sensor any day. The customer felt the same way, and bought one from the dealer for about 20 bucks. And what's worst of all, none of our customers with these vehicles were ever informed before, during, or after the buying process until they showed up at our shop. As for me, I would point my finger more at the dealer for not informing the customer, but as for you designers, these vehicles should have come with the dipstick in the first place. Oh, no, that's sticking with your dipstick! For Autoline Garage, I'm Sean McElroy.